airport as filed. Climb and maintain 6,900. This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Sam Donaldson. Mikhail Gorbachev said it best today, just moments before he resigned his post as the last president of the Soviet Union. If you have to go, you have to go. It's that time, he said. Time for Gorbachev's departure, but of greater importance, time for the end of a state that in its brief 74 years had murdered and oppressed its own people, enslaved other countries, and threatened the peace, the very existence of the whole world. The United States day, recognizes and welcomes the emergence of a free, independent, and democratic Russia led by its courageous president, Boris Yeltsin. Our embassy in Moscow will remain there as our embassy to Russia. We will support Russia's assumption of the USSR's seat as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. And the president went on to offer full diplomatic recognition to all the Soviet republics. The offer is effective immediately for five republics, including Ukraine, which have already made specific guarantees to the United States about the safety of nuclear weapons and transforming their markets into free markets. The other six republics, including Georgia, will be recognized when they do the same. were being systematically pillaged in Abkhazia along the only supply route possible through the country. The Georgian army intervened, it said, to protect the railways. A war of strategic positions began. Throughout the conflict, Russia supported the idea of Georgia's territorial unity, all the while maintaining military aid to the Abkhaz separatists, lending them professionals known as volunteers and allowing mercenaries from the Confederation of Russian Mountain Peoples to engage in the fighting. A pact was signed by Shevardnadze, Yeltsin and the separatists, and then violated by the separatists. As Georgian troops retreated, they attacked Gagara and committed the worst of atrocities. The Georgian army entrenched itself in the Abkhaz capital of Sukhumi to defend its largely Georgian population. Despite the danger, the Georgian parliament stubbornly refused adhesion to the Commonwealth of the former Soviet republics. Sukhumi was besieged by the separatists. It fell on September 22, 1993.
Дальше. Предупредить надо личный состав, чтобы все были находились в укрытии. на приеме. Да, да, понял, слышал тебе. Все понятно. население 70 тысяч, то есть один, мы говорим так, один стадион. Неужели это один стадион с женщинами, с детьми, то есть воспиталось столько, понимаете, летчиков, столько танкистов, столько, столько понимаете, вот этих, артиллеристов, хотинцев, окружают. Фронт, посмотрите, какой держит. Фронт, держать такой фронт, значит, километров. Около 160 километров фронт держать. Это же надо же. Что мы ставим для вас эти? Сколько мы загребись? Кегма, там уже были русские армии штабевши. Генеральный штаб из Уфровска Лесниковс, арс да умалавс. Ман тарихи да асахела, роди сунда, роди да яйца мода сунда. Сун рам дени медга шишецта. The Congress of the Northern Caucasus Mountain Peoples. They too have their interests on the shores of the Black Sea, namely the link between the Muslim countries of the Mediterranean and the oil route. Listen to Johar Dudayev, president of Chechenia. Сотни тысяч чеченцев, которые живут в России, должны стать сотни тысячами солдат, защитывая интересы чеченской нации. И так и станет. И объявить казава. Каждый чеченец должен быть смертником. А у уязвимых мест тысячу человек достаточно, чтобы Россию перевернуть и на этом стереть в ядерной катастрофе. The Abkhaz didn't know how to fight a war. They were inexperienced and had never before engaged in battle duty, but they are not afraid. There is no hint of fear in their eyes, but they didn't know how to fight a war. We've been here for a month and a half and our boys have shown them how. Now the Abkhaz are no worse at making war than natives of other republics. His vestia dated October 12, 1993. Signs are posted on houses, no vacancy, Chechen. The Abkhaz government promised dwellings in Sukhumi to Cossacks who were its principal strike force, followed by Abkhaz, Oset, and Adygean battalions. There were 10 battalions in all. Russian army headquarters in Sukhumi. retreat from Sukhumi, Georgian troops had to confront another trial. Syadgam Sahurdia and his army of supporters had returned from Chechenia and blocked their path. Installed in his native region, the deposed president was threatening to march on Tbilisi, where fear of new massacres and revenge ran high. His troops were finally thwarted, this time with Russian army support. Shevardnadze had been forced to sign Georgia into the Commonwealth of former Soviet republics. 6,000 inhabitants were killed in Sukhumi. The whole Georgian population of more than 250,000 people had to flee Abhazia along the traditional route of exodus towards Venetia.
Hadi diyana. Ne dersen ne dersi de çimgana bir kasiyat bakayım. 